Hello everyone, it's Jen Teacher again from Reading Towns. Good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is dealing with some serious news, some serious issues that we need to really pay attention to. And the title is Starvation in Africa. So starvation is when people do not have food to eat and they're dying of hunger. So that's starvation. So it's taking place in Africa. And as you see, uh, the cartoon or the picture there, it shows uh, a very sad situation. So let's take a look at what today's article is about. It says, starvation is a serious problem that greatly affects Africa, the world's second largest continent. We know continent are the large uh, pieces of land where there's many countries within, and there are seven continents across the world, and Africa is one of the largest. It's the second largest, actually. It says, the chronic lack of food leads to many deaths among children. So chronic means it's a continuing problem. It happens over and over again, and it doesn't change. So what happens in Africa, there's a lack of food, meaning there's not enough. So constantly, over and over again, there's not a lot of food, not enough food, and that's what causes so many deaths among children. So there's a lot of young children dying because they don't have a lot of food to eat in Africa. The second paragraph says, British International Development Secretary Priti Patel told The Independent in a statement. The Independent is uh, a British news organization, and she said in a statement, as we enter 2017, over 37 million people across Africa are without food. Adding, families face losing their homes and livelihoods as the effects of widespread drought worsen. So let's take a look at what uh, the British International Development Secretary said, uh, Priti Patel, she told this news organization that in the year 2017, we're going into 2017 and still there are more than 37 million people all over Africa who are still living without enough food. She also said families face losing their homes. So face losing their homes, face means that they're about to, right? So they're uh, heading towards that direction. So they're facing uh, the loss of their homes. They're gonna lose their homes and their livelihoods. Livelihoods is like how you're able to live, how you're able to survive, how you make money, how you live day to day. So they're losing all of those uh, opportunities to live a good life or a decent life uh, because of widespread drought. So widespread means it's spread very widely, so it's everywhere, you can see it everywhere. And drought is when there is no rain for a long period of time. So because it hasn't been raining for so long in so many different places, many people in Africa are gonna lose their homes and lose their way of life. Uh, so let's continue, it says, according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, 233 million people in Sub-Saharan Africa were undernourished from 2014 to 2016. So uh, the agriculture is the growing and producing, making food, and it's the group in the United Nations who make sure that people are getting food and good food. And that organization said that 233 million people in sub-Saharan, so sub means under, and we know that there's a Sahara Desert in Africa, in Northern Africa. So and all the countries or all the people underneath the Sahara uh, region in Africa, 233 million people were undernourished. Nourished means you have enough nutrients or vitamins or you're healthy because you eat enough food. So if you're undernourished, that means you don't have the vitamins, you don't have the nutrients or the energy that you get from food. So 233 million people underneath right, the Sahara Desert in Africa, living under uh, in that area, were undernourished from the years 2014 to 2016. So we see that it's a big problem in Africa where millions of people are not getting enough food and they're not very healthy. Uh, the third paragraph says, the National Drought Management Authority said an estimated 1.3 million people faced starvation last year alone in Kenya. So we know Kenya is a country in Africa. And it said last year, this organization who watches uh, the droughts, once again, we said droughts are it's a long period of no rain where it's very dry, said that estimated they think about 1.3 million people faced starvation. So we saw faced earlier, they're uh, going through, right? Or they're about to uh, experience starvation. Only just last year, so 1.3 million people in one country in one year. So it's a huge problem. And then it says South Sudan is no exception. Exception is a word where it says except or without, right? But here it says no exception, so that means they're included. So South Sudan, another country in Africa, is also included in the problem with drought. 
a third of the population, so a third is 1 over 3, or 33% estimated, so a third of the population, or 4.6 million people, faced severe hunger. So population means the number of people living in a country or a place. So one third of the population, 33% of the population, which comes out to 4.6 million people, they experienced or faced severe hunger. Severe means very, very bad or strong. Right? So they faced uh, very bad hunger. So UNICEF, it's an organization that helps out people in need. UNICEF has also warned that nearly half a million children faced, uh, faced starvation in northeastern Nigeria and 80,000 will die unless they receive treatment. So UNICEF, this organization that does charity around the world that helps out people, it says that if we don't do something, they're warning, they're saying that nearly half a million children uh, will face starvation, right? They will die of hunger in northeastern Nigeria. So we know north is up and east is to the right. So northeastern part of the country of Nigeria and 80,000 of those children will die if they don't receive treatment. Treatment means help if they don't receive extra care right, or health uh, attention. So if they don't get treatment, more children will die. The last paragraph says low crop production, low crop production caused by climate change is mainly blamed for this problem. So low crop production, crop is the growing of food like corn or wheat. Uh, production means make. So because they're not able to make enough food, and that is caused by climate change when the weather changes, it gets too hot or it gets too dry, that's climate change. They're saying that that's the main reason why uh, this starvation problem is getting worse. In addition, lack of infrastructure, gender e inequality, insurgency, and other deadly diseases are worsening, in, uh, worsening the situation. So it's not just the lack of food, yes, that is a big problem, but it's also the lack of infrastructure. Infrastructure means not having the roads or the buildings that are necessary, like hospitals and schools, not having the infrastructure, usually we're talking about the roads, uh, so not having the roads or the infrastructure, gender inequality, equality means everyone is treated the same, and gender is men and women. And because there is inequality, men and women are not being treated the same, that's also leading to the problem. Insurgency is when people are arguing and they're fighting against the government or against the ruling party. So insurgency means that there's a lot of arguing, rioting, fighting against the government and other deadly disease. And because those are getting worse, this is making the overall situation of starvation in Africa a greater problem. So through today's article, we know that so many times we seem like, oh, that's not really happening around me. So we can tend to forget about it. But this is an important issue that it's going to spread throughout Africa. And we need Africa's help in the future as well. So here we need to pay attention to what's going on in Africa, to the children in Africa. Is it their fault? No, it's not. So we see all these different reasons why these children are facing a very, very dangerous situation. So I hope that this really opens your eyes to see what's going on in Africa and around the world. And let's think about what it is that you and I can do to help them. Uh, there's a lot of charity uh, and I know a lot of students uh, send money with their families overseas to countries like Africa to help these children in need. And I think that's something that you and I can both continue to do to help this situation. So if you look at the picture, we see children in Africa uh, who are undernourished, right? They're not uh, healthy because they don't get enough food. So it's a very sad picture to look at. So let's take a look at uh, the sentences uh, so we can see our understanding from today's article. So it says uh, in question A, according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, how many people were undernourished in sub-Saharan Africa from 2014 to 2016? So we know that this was a very, very big number. And uh, agriculture, once again, is the growing of food. Uh, how many people were undernourished, not enough nutrients, not healthy enough in the areas underneath the Sahara? Uh, in Africa. So from uh, 2014 to 2016, do you guys remember the number? It was a very large number and it was 233 million. So this is not just the number of people living there, but amongst the millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people living there, 233 million of those people are not getting enough food. So this is a huge number and this is something that you and I can definitely uh, do something about to lower that number. Uh, let's look at question B. It says, according to the National Drought Management 
an authority. So remember we said drought was a long period of no rain when it's very dry. So this authority said how many people faced starvation last year in Kenya? So not just in the area underneath the Sahara Desert, but just in the country of Kenya. And that's also a large number. And here we said it was 1.3 million people in just Kenya alone. So once again, it's showing us that it's a problem all around Africa and especially in these key countries like Kenya. And the last question says, what is the main cause of low crop production? So we know that crop is the growing of food like corn, wheat, and production means to make. So why is it such a problem? Uh, why is it difficult to make enough food? And we said that there are several reasons, but the first reason was the problem with the roads. They don't have enough roads built or the proper buildings, the buildings that they need. And that's all part of uh, infrastructure. But another reason uh, that we talked about here was climate change. So because the weather is getting so hot, it's getting so dry, uh, because of that, they're not able to make enough food. So we said climate change, infrastructure, gender inequality, uh, insurgents. We see that there's many different problems. And one of the reasons in Africa is because it's so hot and it's so dry, they cannot make enough crops, they cannot enough, uh, make enough food. And that's due to the climate change. So here, let's fill in the blanks uh, to finish out our article for today. It says, blank is a serious problem that greatly affects Africa, this, the world's second largest continent. So this entire article, we've been talking about what? Or have we been talking really about the weather or have we been talking about the problem that the people face there and it's starvation. So starvation is not having enough food to eat. So dying of hunger, that is a serious problem that's going on in Africa. South Sudan is no, we said that uh, they are also included, so they are not taken out. So we said that they are no exception, right? So they are also included, okay? And the last question, in addition, lack of something, this is what I was referring to earlier, gender inequality, insurgency, and other deadly diseases are worsening the situation. Worsening means it's making it, right, more difficult. It's, it's making it bad. So here, the lack of enough roads, enough buildings, the lack of infrastructure, uh, gender inequality, insurgency, and other deadly diseases. So these are some of the problems that are causing or leading or contributing or adding to the problem of starvation in Africa. So I know today's article was a bit serious, uh, but it's something that you and I need to pay close attention to. So if we can help people and solve the problem of starvation in Africa, then we can solve a great problem in, uh, that affects people around the world. So I hope you uh, learned a lot and it brought attention this very important problem that may one day affect more than just Africa. So let's do something about it and let's share what we learned today uh, to the people around us. Well, thank you uh, for listening and thank you for paying attention today and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.